Eric, I guess we'll start there. I just want to get your reaction to uh, being named the Offensive Player of the Year in the Pac-12. Uh, you know, that uh, winning this award is not really – it's it's really dope for me because it's finally cool to just see, like, all the hard work plan, uh, paying off. But I really want to just stay – uh, my offensive lineman, because, you know, they really paved the way to help me get all those runs and win this. And then just as a follow-up to that, uh, you know, you guys uh, get to go back to Texas uh, for this bowl game. Coach Terrell said it's a big deal. You being one of the Texas guys, I'm curious uh, to get your thoughts on how big of a deal is it, and are you excited about Whataburger down there? Well, I am – I'm very excited for, one, just to be home again, and there's, there's apparently, like – are uh, 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 supposed to have fans at the game. So that's even more exciting. And then, you know, it's always good to eat with a burger and then be back at the crib. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, okay, who's next up for Jerk? Greg Luca. Hey, Jerk, how you doing? My name's Greg. I, I work down in San Antonio. I covered the, uh, the area here. So I'll be right in the Alamo Bowl. Just wanted to ask you about do you know if any of your like local friends and family are going to be able to get to the game or have you thought about that so far? Uh, yeah. Yeah. My, my family will be there for sure. Has it been tough to play without fans this year? What does that mean to you to actually have that chance now? Uh, well, that's actually uh, kind of a hard question that like, uh, to really answer because like, like I've never really just experienced the, uh, like the college football, uh, uh, like the atmosphere, like with fans and stuff. This is really my first time touching the field. But I, I mean, I guess like that plays a that plays a huge huge role. But I mean, I don't I don't really know the difference. So so I just look forward to playing with fans and see what that's like. The Adam Monster Tiger. Hey, Jerk. Have you had any opportunities to kind of sit back and reflect on what you've gone through to get to this point, or has it just been hard with the season going on? Uh, you know, uh, throughout the season. Wait, what do you mean by that? Uh, coming back from the knee injury, have you had a chance with the success you had to kind of sit back and, and think about what you've gone through to get to this point? Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't really try to, you know, dwell on the negative things that uh, that have happened. I, um, I mostly just focus on the positive stuff and, you know, just try to keep going forward week by week and just get better and better. Uh, okay, let's go to Brian Halligan. Jarek, what are your thoughts on playing uh, the University of Texas? Uh, you know, when you were growing up, um, did you guys, did you look up to the Longhorns? Was that a place you wanted to go to? And kind of you and the Texas guys, have you talked about playing the Longhorns? Uh, yeah, you know, you know, this is going to be a big game for not only us, but you know, the program as well. And and like, I mean, also the Pac-12. You know, I feel like we deserve some respect as a. Like, um, as a conference and, and you know just like this opportunity like just to have this opportunity is just a good thing overall and and you know playing at home of course that's all we that's all we ever talk about back to san antonio and greg luca Derek, do you feel like you're playing at your full potential right now or do you feel like you're still getting healthy as you recover from some of the things you've gone through the last couple of years uh well i feel like like week by week playing a game, I feel like I've gotten more and more, you know, comfortable, you know, just being out there and, and you know, just like getting into the system and stuff. So honestly, I feel like I haven't really reached my max potential yet because once I come out the brace, you know, I mean, that's what everybody want to see, but, you know, I'm looking forward to. Justin Guerrero. Jarek, you know, every time you guys go to California to play a game, just given how many California guys you guys have on uh, roster, there's always talk of uh, those players, you guys, that, that know a lot of uh, opposing players on the rosters of uh, UCLA and USC. Just you in particular and, and uh, the 20-plus the guys from Texas on the Buffs, like, do you guys know anyone? Do you know anyone playing for the Longhorns right now? Have any relationships with, with any of their current players? Uh, no, nah, not really. I mean, there's, uh, there's other guys on the team that might know them, but as far as me, I don't Actually, in my notes, uh, Justin, there's five sets of high school team teammates, and uh, the big ones, Brendan Lewis and cousin Kennedy is on Texas, but there are five sets of team high school teammates. Let's go to Jeff Jones, who needs to tell us where he played football with his 18 jersey hanging in the back. 
I played uh, in San Antonio, actually, at Trinity University. So you guys are heading to my old stomping grounds. Uh, but right now I'm in Austin, and so I cover UT. And Jarek, I'm wondering, when you were younger, uh, being from the Dallas area, who was your college team that you rooted for? And, and what did you think of the Longhorns? Were you a big Longhorns fan? Were you an Aggie fan? Uh, well, to tell you the truth, honestly, uh, growing up, I actually watched a lot of USC and Reggie Bush. I kind of I kind of grew up watching Reggie Bush. You could ask my mom. I used to be in a room just just sitting in there eight years old on YouTube, just watching him, you know, cut back all the way across the field. You know, all that stuff was really cool to me back then. And then, uh, yeah, pretty much just, you know, USC and Reggie Bush. So tell me your memories of that national championship game, USC against Texas, Vince Young's marching down the field. What do you remember about watching that? Well, well, well you know, uh, being in Texas, you know, you're going to get all the, like, like most of the stuff that, that, uh, that really glorified Texas. And, you know, Vince Young, you know, seeing him, you know, tiptoe in the end zone and, you know, score that ball is, you know, that was really exciting. Back to Brian Howell. Hey, Jerry, I got one more for you. Because Coach Terrell has talked about this being sort of a, a foundational year for the program. Obviously, it's just his first year. And, you know, you're only playing six games this season. So uh, how, how big is this game for this program, do you feel, as a young player, to kind of lay that foundation for the future? Well, I mean, we can't make no game bigger than us. But, you know, as far as the foundation for the future, you know, it's a it's a good game, you know, to just, you know, see where we at, like, like as a team and as one and, and – and as I always say, we just looking to get better week after week. And back to Greg Luca. Jarek, why was your team able to make so much progress this year? I know there's been a couple of rough seasons and now you guys are going back to a bowl and have a winning year. What do you think has been the biggest difference? What's been the biggest difference? Mm -hmm. I'd say what's been the biggest difference was, well, you, well, you know, like, like I've been here for all three, three coaches, uh, three coaching changes and, and you know, Coach McIntyre really, really taught us, like, you know, like, uh, like, like brotherhood, you know, Coach Tuck came in and he kind of taught us, you know, like nothing's going, nothing's going to be given to you. Like you got to go out there and take it. And then uh, when Coach Darrell came in, he really taught us, you know, you know, just helping, just having like, like self-confidence and, you know, believing in yourself. And I feel like that really, like, that, that really helped his team a lot because it starts with you yourself. And, and like, once you believe in yourself and, and you believe in the guy next to you, things should just happen.